Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm going to be working with She Modern stencils to create a nail art look, so I hope you like this. I'll show you the picture and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel's No Clean Top Coat and Base Coat. Excuse my short nails. This one just broke right before filming. Uh. <laughs> uh. Gotta love it. So I'm going to put one coat of base coat on and on all my fingers and then cure it and we'll come back for the color. Today I'll be using cat eye number three from Wave Gel and this is just a promotional bottle. It's not really you know what they what it comes in so just so you know but it is number three which is purple wave gel has a great cat eye polish it is opaque in one coat and you don't need any undies to go underneath it so no black base or anything like that and it is super pretty and you can wear it just plain if you didn't want to do the cat eye look at that that is one coat <laughs> remarkable okay what i do next is i put on the second coat And then I do the cat eye. And um, and then I kind of cure it. I might do two nails at a time and then cure it for like five seconds. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, just five seconds to hold the little line while I do the rest of them. Because if you wait too long, it kind of spreads. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with a top coat on all of my fingers except for my ring finger because I'm just going to do an accent nail. So I'm not going to apply the top coat yet on that one. Okay, so we're all ready and cured. Except for my ring finger, well, it's cured. It just has no top coat on. So I'm just going to remove the tacky layer. So I've already removed the stencil from its little packaging. And um, they all come with like um, a little mixing canvas, which is hard plastic. Um, a little stencil stopper here which we're going to use later on maybe next week and then some samples of the foil art so that's kind of very nice so and then in here it comes with um, paper backing to help you slide it in and out of the poly bag when you're done using it which it just stayed in there and a plastic top sheet and this is what we're going to use. And these are perfectly reusable. Okay, so I have a, a clear stamper here. And I have it flipped upside down so it's flat. And I'm just going to make sure it's nice and clean because it was sitting out on my desk without a lid. That's awesome. I'm just going to put this under here in case we need to see the stencil better. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it here on the head, on the stamper head. It's perfect. I'm wondering, does it, can you guys see it better? Yeah, you can see it better with the black underneath. 
And I'm gonna use my little She Modern Silver Hollow. It comes with these little rings in case you want to swatch on them. I just, I did on some of them, I just haven't gotten around to these newer ones. And it comes in this nice little bottle so you don't get a mess over, everywhere. And what you're gonna do is, you just need very little. So I'm just gonna tap a little. Here and then rub it in. Um, you want to rub it in both lines because I'm going to use both lines. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Maybe that's not going to work out. Anyways, that's about it. And then you just can clean off your finger on the lint roller, which is nice. And then you're just going to carefully Peel this up and I'm just going to set it to the side for a minute and I'll worry about getting the um, worry about getting that off. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to actually I don't think I'm going to need the second line. So now with a piece of tape, you can remove the part that you don't need. Or if you're really skilled, you can do it with your lint roller. My lint roller is huge. I'm not going to attempt that. So I'm just going to remove the glitter parts that I don't need. Oh, guess what? I forgot to put the, um, the glue on my finger. Okay, well, let's just put this aside for a minute. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put some nail glue on. Now, I know in some of my other videos, you saw me kind of like um, buffing it, but you don't have to because this is not a high shine. Um, there's no high shine on it. If I was putting it on the top coat, then I would have to buff it first. But since, since there's no shine here, I'm just going to put this on. And when it dries clear, it will be ready. I got too much on. Just wipe a little bit off. Okay. So let's go back to our little stamper here. And then we'll remove what we don't need. Under here. You just want to remove the um, excess glitter so that you don't get a whole bunch of extra glitter in the glue you just laid on your finger. Because whatever gets on that glue is going to stick on there. Okay, our glue is dry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to start like right here. I want two lines on this. Ah. <laughs> okay, hang on. There we go. Just going to push it down, rock it back and forth, and lift it up. Wow. Pretty awesome. No, actually, I have enough still on there to do my second line. Can I do that? There. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Now we just want to top coat that, uh, but first I see a little bit of glitter right here that I will want to clean off of my skin. Okay, perfect. And now I'm just going to float some top coat over the top so that I'm not dragging the glitter through the part of the polish that I don't want. There we go. 
and I'm going to cure that and we'll come back. Okay, so here I have it, the finished look. So we've got a lot going on on this nail. We've got the cat eye and then the glitter. But I just wanted to do like a simple kind of design for this one. And we'll see what we can come up with next time. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.